and welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest today. Hey. <laughs> Brian and I are out doing some shopping. Originally, I was gonna film a Target shop with me for the dollar spot, um, but it seems as though they are literally turning Target into the North Pole overnight tonight because there's literally boxes and boxes of Christmas decor that all the employees are in the process of unpacking. So I decided I'm just gonna come back first thing tomorrow morning and do that video for you guys. So if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, hello, my name is Katie, I'm from Orlando, Florida. I do shop with me videos, target videos, hauls, decorate with me, all sorts of fun things, cleaning motivation. So if you love videos like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But like I said, today's video is a Christmas decor shop with me at Home Goods. Super excited about it. We're also moving into a brand new apartment in the middle of January. So we're looking for a lot of other like furniture and decor as well. So we're gonna go ahead, head into Home Goods and shop with me. Okay, we just got into the store and I'm honestly, I'm gonna be real, I'm very overwhelmed. There's so much Christmas stuff. Tons. Which is great because I have a lot to show you guys, but I don't even know where to start. So it's it's fairly overwhelming. I'm literally sweating. Also, I insisted on wearing this new like sweater thing that I just got, which was a mistake because we live in Florida and it's like 8,000 degrees. So <laughs> literally, um, but I'm just gonna start where I'm standing and show you guys what they have. So this is my view right when we walk in, like all this Christmas stuff. This is, well, this is Brian, he's not for sale. So starting right off the bat, right over here, like towards the left of the entrance, they have, or the right, <laughs> they have a couple outdoor things, a Santa, this North Pole sign with a light at the top, that's really cute. That is only $40. And Brian goes, how much is the motorcycle? I'm not sure how much the motorcycle is, I don't. Oh, it does. Oh, $1,300. Just a casual. Of course, as always, they have millions of pillows and blankets. I love these. They're just so nice because you just use them for a few months out of the year and they literally last forever. I think I might wanna pick out like a blanket or something. I just love all of this stuff. This one is really catching my eye. It's just with the trees. I like that a lot and the different textures. I'm into these beaded textured things this year, but just so much to choose from. Just racks on racks of blankets and pillows. Just more blankets. I don't even know what to do with myself. These are really cute. Oh my God, these are so cute. Right. I freaking love these. Yeah, look, at these ones next time. look at these little guys. Oh, look at his little face. These are really cute. They have like a bunch of different like little wooden people holding like sheep, wearing hats, all this different, a sack. a sack. So cute. They are a little bit pricey though. Like the really tiny ones are $5.99 and then the bigger ones are like $10. I do think, honestly though, that they are homemade, but I just wish that you could find something like this at Hobby Lobby because it would be 50% off. There's endless amounts. Brian really likes the lion, because he has a big booty, <laughs> like someone else I know. Uh-huh, that's exactly why. Brian just asked me if gnomes are the thing now because there's gnomes everywhere. Look at this one. Is that a gnome though? Is that a gnome? No, I don't think that's a gnome. Because his face is tiny. Well, normally they don't even have a face. Does that not count? No, I don't think that's a gnome. I don't know though. Like, yeah, I like this giant red tree. Oh, it moves. Oh. It moves? Oh that's yeah, he's so like cool. on a spring. Back here, I do see this interesting, they have a couple of these. I don't know if these are like candles, but they're almost like pine cone shaped trees, but I don't know what they are. I've seen a couple of them. There's another one back here, but I don't really know. It's like a pine cone on a pedestal. These are super pretty. I like these a lot. These are very like glam. Like I feel like my roommate Kim would like these. She's very into like the glitz and glam stuff. I really like the beaded one. I just like the wood up against that. I like the contrast. These little signs are cute. They're embroidered. That's different. I like how plushy they are. I like that it's not just printed. Like obviously a lot of other signs are just printed, but this one just a little bit different. Someday I really want to get something like this, like a letter to Santa. This is like a small mailbox. They probably somewhere in the store have like the life-size mailbox, which is I feel like probably the one that Brian will want to get someday, like the literal life-size mailbox, which is why we're going to spend the rest of our lives together because <laughs> We just both want things like that. This would go really well with the Opal House Christmas decorations, this garland. That would go really well with that. And then this really caught my eye too. It's like a giant truck that's hauling a pine tree in the back. I like that a lot. It's actually really, really big. Let's see if I can show you, but I like that a lot. 
This is really cute. It's like another one of those embroidered ones, but it's gnomes. Look at this one. Gnomes. Gnomes. They are the thing. I swear that this thing is literally taller than me. Does it work though? I don't know. It's 500 bucks. No, it doesn't look like it has like the mouth where it works. Just for reference, I'm five foot three or four. And this thing is what, like a foot taller than me? I like it that. is like a like half almost a foot off the floor, but it's probably That's five still foot. Five and a half feet. It's really cool. And for any of my Hanukkah celebrating subscribers, they do have all of that stuff as well. A lot of really cute stuff. They have like menorahs and then just like everything blue and white. So they have that here as well if you're looking for that. All of this stuff is really in the, cool. In the yard or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it could get rained on though. It's super nice. These trees are really cool. These are really nice. I like these a lot. Yeah, they have the standing one and then they have a sitting one. That's really cute. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Oh, see, growing up, my mom, we had something like this and she'd put Hershey Kisses in it. One for each of us. And then every day you got to eat the Hershey's Kiss. Here's all like coastal Christmas. So like blues and whites and then like little starfish and seashells everywhere. And then, you know, Santa literally the day after Christmas. <laughs> I think Brian is in love with gnomes all of a sudden. <laughs> That's so cute. How much is it? 50. 50 bucks? That's not bad. It's really big. It's probably like three feet tall. He's it's cute. Nice. Okay, now we're getting into eye. the Christmas decor that kind of might could get me in trouble. What caught your eye? This caught my eye, but now I'm kind of like, it's weird. This? It's very like, it looks like, like it would be like a robot reindeer. This one looks like a little robotic almost. They do have like a couple different versions. That's like a more shiny one. And then this one's my favorite. This one is like the light silver with like light gold ears. That's super nice. They do have a ton of these little embroidered signs, like all different ones that I'm finding that say like all different phrases. These are very nice. Brian's over here like finding the mama version of like the baby reindeer. This is actually really, really cute. The baby one is 10 and then this one is $16.99. I was reuniting the herd. They have so much stuff. So many different styles too. Definitely something for everyone. And they have stockings. We actually need stockings and I really, really like this like beaded snowflake one. I kind of want to get ones that are like similar but not the same. That way we know whose is whose. I really like this sign and everything that it says. But it just stinks because like we don't have winter in Florida. So we don't have snowy evenings or frosty mornings. We cannot make snowmen <laughs> or any of those things, which makes me really sad. They have these really giant already decorated wreaths and they are a hundred each, but they are really, really pretty. I feel like if you bought the one that I showed you in my Hobby Lobby video and then bought all the decorations to make it look like that, it would end up costing more. So I would, I would go with one of those actually over the one I saw at Hobby Lobby if I found one that already looked really similar to the way I wanted to make my own anyways. But that's just my opinion. They have so many pretty tree skirts as well on several of the end caps. We found all the Ray Dunn Christmas ornaments. Yeah, they're just Ray Dunn Christmas ornaments. She's literally thought of everything. Oh, these are ornaments? Yeah, they're ornaments for your tree. Oh, okay. How does that make you feel? I'm actually surprised to see red ones. I don't think I've ever seen red ones before. Oh, they have Mr. and Mrs. Claus ones. Wanna get some for our tree? I'm just kidding. We interrupt the Christmas decor to show you other furniture and things that we're looking at, but we will get back to Christmas stuff. Like I said, we are moving in the middle of January, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, first of all, you should, at Katie Vining. But I already started to sell all my furniture, so I already sold my kitchen table and my bar stools, and I'm trying to sell my coffee table. So we need to find new furniture because we are still living in my current house for the next three months. And with the holidays coming up, like we probably need a table to eat at. We were checking out these bar stools when we noticed this like table that's like a wine holder. So it holds all the bottles and then here it would hold racks of glasses. Oh and God. Brian loves it and he thinks that we need it. <laughs> we do. do it is really now? cool. Oh, this opens somehow? Yeah, and it goes like point down. That's yeah. really cool. That's so different. This is actually only $150. I feel like that's a really good price for like what it is. It's just, I don't know. It's like, it's just really different. I'm not sure. I like the idea of it, but I don't know if I like the fact that it's like a bike. I could ride with it. You, oh, oh my God. <laughs> we really need a new laundry basket. Oh, did you find one that you liked? Yeah. Oh, okay. That one is nice. 
pull it down so we can show them. That's pretty like nice. That. Oh, it kind of, it like closes on the top too. That's cool. Oh, that makes it so easy to get out. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's great. How much is it? $24.99. I like it. I'm a huge fan. Do you want it? Yeah, I like it. We're having some second thoughts. <laughs> We're just finding other ones that we like too. This one's kind of cool with like the lid. The lid? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. The colors are just a little bit like weird. They're like grazy taupe. We are like moving into the section that's like a lot of baskets and stuff, so we might find one that we like better. Okay, so we realized we like the ones that have a top on them. So that's gonna be the focus now. I can literally tell that you're pouting like under the mask. What's wrong with the one that we got? It doesn't have a top. <laughs> it's perfect, it just needs a top. Yeah. It is cool that this like cinches up but it would be nicer if it had a top. My other issue with this one is this is similar to the one that I already have and the bag broke. So it's like once the bag breaks, you're kind of like SOL. Plus the bag, like you have to wash it sometimes. I don't know, maybe we should go towards like a wicker one instead. This one works a lot better though because you take the bag out with it instead of having to dump it out. Cause like you take the bag out first. Yeah. And then dump it out. I don't know, this one's got clips too instead of just like wrapping around. I yeah. feel like this one would stay a lot easier. Okay, we've decided to put it back. <laughs> this is going well. Okay, we found another one that we like kind of a little bit more, but it also doesn't have a top. But it's only $13. Like, there's no way, right? What? That's a really good deal. It's pretty. I like this one. It's got a strap. I wish that it was kind of flat on the back. Like, I like the ones that are like the half moon shape because yeah. they fit against the wall better. But, okay, we're getting closer. See? We're, we found a, a few more options. I hate them all. You hate them all? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> These are a few more of the same. Brian really wants one that has a top, though. Meanwhile, while he's pouting about laundry baskets, I really like this shelf. This table's really pretty. It's $179, but it's on clearance for like not even a clearance price. It's on clearance from $179 to $162. I really like it though. It's very pretty. I just found this folding lap desk. I feel like this is something I really need. It has like a cup holder. It looks like it would hold a can of seltzer. And it's only 15 bucks. And I don't know. I always have to work with like a pillow under me. She's always working out of bed, so. Brian just exposed me. I always lay in bed and work. I'm like a napper and all of this stuff. So anytime I can choose to lay in bed and still get stuff done, why wouldn't I? I see more of like that like cane stuff back there move this I just love that kind of stuff like the natural look I have like this darker cane as well I've actually never seen that before this is just like a male organizer with pen you could honestly use it to organize anything that you want but that's really cute I actually ended up finding one that was a little bit cuter it's with white instead of black with still the light wood honestly it doesn't really have to be that cute because when I'm not using it I'll probably just store it under the bed but it's gonna be helpful because my computer's always overheating. We really like this like console table. It has soft, doesn't it have soft closed drawers? Oh, it does. And then like these like pop open. So I wish there was a shelf. Oh, there is a shelf in there. It's just not hung That's properly. Cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like this. I think that this would be like Scandinavian style technically because it has like the white. I just like how clean looking it is. I'm think that this is the vibe I'm going for in the new place. I actually really like this. As you guys know, if you saw our last Home Goods video, we just got a dog food bucket, and this one is way more perfect. Ugh! Get them every time. That's the risk you take with Home Goods. This one is bigger, and it's just like creamy. Yeah, it's a better color. This one is literally perfect. Dang, I wonder if we can exchange. I know, this one is so much nicer. There's so many cute Things. Oh, I really like this. This is like the, I don't even know, Ratia or whatever it's called. It's like the textured coffee table. I like the look of it, but last night I was just thinking about how like, what happens if you like spill something on it? Like it's material, so I can't imagine that it would come off super easy. So while it's really cute, I just don't think that it's functional. But honestly, a lot of times things that are really cute are not functional. I absolutely love these chairs if they weren't this yellow color. I mean, I do love this yellow color. It's literally one of my favorite colors. But I don't want it in our house, if that makes sense. I wish that this was like a taupe color. I don't know why, but when the blankets are on both sides of me, I just have this urge to like, just like lay in the comfy blankets because they're so comfy. Okay, back to the regularly scheduled programming of Christmas because I feel like 
you were probably like, oh, you've already shown so much. I only did half the store. So back to the Christmas stuff. Look at this giant candle. Brian, look at that. <laughs> Take that? it. It's heavy. It's a big candle. Oh, wow. Is it a hot deal? It's 20 bucks. It's kind of a hot deal though. What does it smell like? It's a lot of candle. I don't know, what is that? Say it on the bottom maybe? I don't want to say that. On the bottom of the candle. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> no. It doesn't say oh, what scent it is? Oh, great. What does that <laughs> smell like? Holiday cheer. I don't know, all the stuff. Okay, while he was looking at that, this caught my eye. I want this. <laughs> it's a gold toaster. toaster. Yeah, look oh at the gold God. toaster. That's so cool. Isn't it nice? That is nice. Okay, another Florida-ism, but I think that they have this everywhere is that we have like a whole aisle of stuff that's like dedicated to Florida. And like I said, I think they might have this at all the different stores, like depending on the state, but they have some like Christmas Florida stuff. They have like some different pillows. Oh, they have like Santas for the different Florida universities and colleges, and then just different like mugs and candles and such. Similar to the pillows, they have some Florida kitchen towels and just all that stuff. We're all about the candles around here. They have this really huge candle too. Christmas berries, it's a huge candle, but to me, it doesn't really smell Christmassy. I'm very much like fresh baked cookies, warm cinnamon smells. So berries is not really what I'm going for for Christmas. What about you? I liked it. You liked it? It didn't smell Christmassy though. You just liked no, it because it was like a big berries. candle. It reminded me of Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, not Christmas. If you are trying to make everything Christmas, they have like KitchenAid pot holders, and then just towels. They actually don't have as many towels as I thought that they would. Table runners, these are cute. I really like the neutral ones, but I don't know. I still really like the one I got at Big Lots when I did my um, budget Christmas decor shop with me so you should definitely check that out and check out Big Lots if you haven't for Christmas decor they had great prices and really cute Christmas decor so if you haven't checked out that video I will go ahead and link it down below but you should definitely check it out I spy with my little eye a red Christmas mug <laughs> I'm surprised I found this am I gonna buy it no but am I gonna put it down in the front right here so that somebody else can find it and buy it Yes. Found like tablecloths, placemats. These are really, really cute. These are the beaded ones. And then like napkins. You'd have to get the napkin rings if you want to be all fancy. But this is cute too. And then next to that is like the gold sparkly glam Christmas stuff. These wine glasses are real, real cute. I like those a lot. They have like the tall ones too. I like that. This is really pretty, a really pretty like vase for flowers. And then, yeah, these are really nice. This company always makes canisters that kind of look like Ray Dunn. Like they're not, but they definitely would go with Ray Dunn. So those are cute. Just any Christmas glassware cookie jar item you could ever imagine. Little like teapots, whole sets. So many different things. And then just in case anyone was wondering what they have for Ray Dunn stuff, it's just mugs and basics. I do see my own name, my roommate's name, my brother's name, all the popular ones. These are really catching my eye too though. They are just normal mugs, but they're that light sage green color that I love. I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but I really like these a lot. They have them over here as well. 
um, a couple different patterns and colors, but they're more like gray. Darker ones that are more of like a bluish tone. If they had ones that were like a creamy color, I would definitely buy those. I just love the look of them. So I'm definitely gonna have to like add that onto my list and just keep it on my radar to look for um, because I really like the style of those. And like I said, I am moving away from Ray Dunn. I'm not gonna be collecting it anymore, but I need to find stuff to replace the stuff that I already have. Under here, they have a bunch more of those Lazy Susan charcuterie boards. Really cute, all different styles. We really like this. It's like a metal deer and his face is in the bowl. Brian's instant first thought was, oh my gosh, m ms <laughs> It's really cute, but it's 20 M &M bucks. The reindeer. I'm not sure though for 20 bucks. They have a gnome one too for all of my gnome lovers. And I'm jealous because this one's only $9.99. I wish the one that we liked was $9.99. So these are more of those Lazy Susan charcuterie boards, but these ones are marble. I like these, these are different. In our new place, I wanna do a mix of like whites and marbles and neutrals with metals and just different I don't even know. I don't even know if that's gonna like look good together, <laughs> but something kind of like these coasters that we're actually gonna pick up because they're really cute and we don't have nice coasters. So I'm gonna pick up the ones that I like while I see them because as you all know, if you don't buy something when you see it at home because the first time, you never see it again. I just showed Brian these and he really likes them. These are awesome. You just fill them with ice for a party and you can put drinks in them. So if you were having like the coolest holiday party ever, these would be really, really cool to have. Probably something that you don't need here in Florida, but cute, they have dog winter coats. I'm assuming if I don't need one for myself, then Aurora, Padme, and Wyatt probably also don't need these. They have a lot of really cute Christmas stuff for pets too. They have like these really, really cute pajamas. They had some at Target too, but these ones are super cute. These ones have like little like polar bears on the butt and cute stuff like that. So many toys. I feel like I kind of want to get everyone a toy. I feel like I could seriously stay in the store showing you Christmas stuff for like 10 hours. There's just so much. They even have right by me that I haven't showed you guys yet, really cute dog stockings. I actually like these ones better than the ones that I saw at Hobby Lobby when I did my Hobby Lobby Christmas decor shop with me. I kind of like these ones better. These ones are 10 bucks. Oh, so that's the thing. Like sometimes Hobby Lobby, their stuff like, some of their stuff isn't that cute, but it's always 50% off, which like sometimes the price like to me can make something a little bit more cute. But these, I don't know. It's just hard because stockings are one of those things that like you have forever. Well, not forever, but you can use it year after year after year. Okay, like I said, we could literally stay in the store forever, but I think it's time to head to checkout because I feel like they'll probably have a lot of really cute stuff there too. Okay, I haven't seen this stuff. More kitchen stuff, pie plates. Basically just like red dishware, but they also have like cookie sheet sets. Those would make great gifts. And then little like measuring ones. The one with the gingerbread man caught my eye because I want to do a cookie setup. I don't know, this stuff's pretty cute. What's this? Oh, like Santa's bag cookie jar. I don't know how anyone picks a cookie jar. There's literally like 8 million to choose from at every single store for Christmas stuff. How does anyone ever pick? And just as I suspected as we approach checkout, there's even more stuff. I really like this deer that's white with the gold antlers. I feel like he could be a good friend for our other deer that we want to get. They also have at checkout a lot of like little pillows. These are great for just accent chairs. I have one of these in my bedroom and it would need a really small pillow just like that. Checkout is just filled with more Christmas stuff. I knew that this was gonna happen. I pretty much just let everyone go past me so that I can take my time to look at everything. Like they have all the little signs, like a lot more little signs. I didn't really see that many over there. That's because they were hiding them all at checkout. So when you're shopping, shop the checkout aisle too. Okay, I just found the cutest gnomes ever that perfectly go with my Christmas stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love these. These are literally perfect. That perfect sage green color. I think I'm gonna get this one, but I also really like this one. So I think I'm gonna get both. These are so cute. I also really like this little glass Christmas tree next to it. That's really cute too. Another really cute green tree. My roommate collects these tiny little puffins. I never even knew that they existed before and now every time I see them, I just think of her. This is really pretty for a tablescape. Like literally you just grab it, pop it on your table, it's already done. And they are like electric candles so you don't have to worry about replacing them. This is really, really nice. Definitely a lot of stocking stuffers as well. 
tons of like animal socks, so like cat socks, dog socks, pretty much anything you could imagine. Like a cat with a tree on his head. We have some like to-go holiday mugs. These were good when Brian was working and like taking his coffee to go. Now he's a Starbucks convert, so he just stops and gets Starbucks. I've changed him. It's it's an expensive habit, but once you start, you can't stop. Yeah, Starbucks is Starbucks is always on me. Alrighty guys, we are home now, back from home goods. Didn't get too much stuff, but definitely wanted to share with you guys what I got nonetheless. I picked up five things. One of them was the little like desk computer thing which Brian is using to work on right now. He's actually going to be making a YouTube channel so if you're into like video games he um, plays this game called Rise of Kingdoms so if you've ever heard of it or if you're interested in supporting Brian on his channel I'll definitely go ahead and link that down below for you guys but yeah he's working on it over here so just got the little like bed desk computer table type thing um, and then I got a couple Christmas items so I'll go ahead and share all that stuff with you guys the first thing that I got I'm just gonna show you like the non Christmas item first was these coasters um, we're gonna need some in the new place I kind of wish that we got ones that came with like the case around it um, but I didn't see any that I liked and I'm sure I can always end up buying more coasters so these are like half marble half wood and they were $7.99 for four coasters Thought they were really cute so I picked them up and then the next two things are actually ones that we saw at checkout and I just couldn't resist they they are these little gnomes they're so cute they're like that perfect sage green color that I'm going for and I just love them so much this one has the snowflakes and he's holding a wreath and then this one is holding up some little cute presents I just loved these so much they were $6.99 each I thought it was a great deal they're really cute and they're the colors that I'm going for so I just had to pick them up and then the last thing I picked up was actually that metal reindeer so he's like kind of like silverish with the gold antlers he was 10 bucks and Brian absolutely loved him and I thought he was really nice too so we decided to pick it up I don't know why I'm calling him he I don't know if it's he or she but really really cute had to pick this up I love the metal stuff and I like mixing like metals with woods and mixing metals and that sort of thing so I definitely think that we can find a way for this to incorporate and it's gonna look really really great alrighty guys well that was just a super quick haul for you didn't pick up too much stuff but there is always next time so definitely make sure you give this video a a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button I just hit 5,000 subscribers just a few days ago and I will see you next time bye guys